over 13 years, the RCSI Research Summer School has provided our undergraduate students with a unique and professionally important opportunity to gain valuable skills in health research. We as an educational institution, alongside our regulators, have long recognised the importance of exposing students to research experiences early in their professional journeys, which is why all of our degree programmes have a research component embedded in them. However, many students do like to gain more research experience and it is for this reason that the Research Summer School has been such a success over the years. During the summer months, participating students are exposed to core research skills in topics such as scientific writing, presentation, data management, statistics and ethics to name but a few. Students are also given laboratory practicals that focus on basic techniques such as pipetting, aseptic technique, tissue culture, culture of microorganisms and molecular techniques like PCR. In providing students with these core skills, they feel empowered and more confident when undertaking actual hands-on research projects that actually happen also as part of the research summer school. So my eight-week summer research project is being conducted at the RCSI School of Pharmacy and Biomolecular Sciences. And my project is basically about inflammatory bowel disease, which is an idiopathic chronic condition that causes inflammation of your colon. And this RSS experience has been really wonderful for me, primarily because it's my first time in the lab. I've learned a a lot of skills that I hope to transfer to future projects and I think overall it's given me a bigger grasp of understanding you know the lab laboratory techniques that are needed to conduct these researches as well as um, you know meeting a lot of people within the lab such as PhD students and MD students and so I think overall it's been a really amazing experience for me and I would definitely recommend the RSS program. These projects are usually eight weeks long and are supervised by one of our world-renowned principal investigators who are experts in their chosen fields of research. We place great importance on ensuring the experience is productive and while not all projects give rise to outputs, many students may get the opportunity to present their findings at national and international conferences or their work may contribute to a publication in a peer-reviewed journal. I work on a desk-based project with my PI, Professor Kevin McGuigan. Uh, and the project was on solar water disinfection, SODIS. So basically what SODIS is, it's a very simple way to get biologically contaminated water safe to drink. So what we would do is we would place biologically contaminated water in a plastic bottle under direct sunlight for six hours, after which the water is safe to drink. Through my time on uh, this project, I didn't only get the chance to be part of the SODIS team, but I also had the chance to participate in workshops hosted by RSS. The workshops for an undergraduate student can be of paramount importance because we don't have as much of a research-oriented background. And so through these workshops, we learned how to go through searching uh, research databases, how to collate data and how to synthesize and model data, and how to do poster presentations as well and all of this can, can further uh, enhance our background in research. The Research Summer School is fully supported by the University, but we have also made excellent connections with our alumni and industry partners over the years, and these have also been extremely generous in the levels of support they have provided. We also strongly encourage participating students and their supervisors to apply for external funding, as grant writing is a valuable skill to have under your belt too. Many students have been successful over the years in securing summer research grants from the Health Research Board of Ireland and in the past the Wellcome Trust and indeed many charities. So I did my research project in the Tissue Engineering Research Group in the Department of Anatomy and Regenerative Medicine in RCSI. My project title was The Effect of Chronic Hyperglycemia on Endothelial Cells. So it was a really great opportunity to learn cell culture techniques, stem cell culture techniques, as well as the different kinds of um, assays and experiments as part of the project. The Research Summer School is a really great opportunity um, to learn these laboratory techniques and to expose yourself to research that's going on in the college. It's really useful for uh, North American students hoping to match back after graduation. Another exciting opportunity for summer school students is the now yearly Student Innovation Challenge. This is a team-based activity coordinated in collaboration with ourselves in the summer school and our colleagues in the RCSI Office of Research and Innovation. Students are presented with the challenge to devise an innovative approach to address problems facing modern healthcare delivery. Previous challenge topics have focused on neurological disorders and psychiatric disorders, population health, biomaterials and regenerative medicine, surgical science and practice and vascular biology. 
Each team is mentored by a challenge leader who is an affiliated RCSI academic and researcher and over the four week period they work alongside each other to develop their idea before pitching it to an esteemed panel of judges from RCSI and industry at a fun afternoon of presentations that marks the end of the challenge. This is a unique experience, an opportunity provided to all of our summer school students who do learn a lot in the process. The RCSI Research Summer School in Dublin launches every autumn, so I would encourage all interested students wishing to participate to plan ahead and apply on time to avoid disappointment. It really is an excellent opportunity that is enjoyed immensely by staff and students alike.